so here we are today with our late 80s engine block here and I'm working with quench today and achieving the proper quench and um, how I'm going to do this is determine how far my deck is away from my um, my piston or rather how far my piston is in the hole is kind of what people tend to refer to it as so then I can um, take my take that measurement into the machine shop then they'll deck my motor down so I have a zero piston to deck clearance and then I can achieve proper quench with um, choosing the correct ga gasket thickness so anyway kind of how I do this is I'm gonna take a few old bearings um, crank bearings and rod bearings now you should only need one piston and rod assembly and with that piston rod assembly you want to have your new pistons already pressed in so in knowing that you want to have this uh, your block already sent to the machine shop and I had mine I guess they boiled it I didn't ask them to but they uh, rough boarded already for me so it's 30 over so I knew to buy 30 over pistons and you want to use your pistons that are going to go in your engine because every piston is different so you know you need to deck that you'll need to deck your block according to your pistons so anyway that's kinda of the idea I'm gonna go ahead and just um, you know use three locations on the um, on the engine block for the crank and then just use one piston and get a measurement on the four corners here and then I'll know how far to take off the block so anyway pretty simple process but it's definitely something you want to do if you want your motor to be perfect tip-top shape um, quench is really important to um, reducing detonation being able to run higher compressions so um, it's a pretty good deal and you really want to make sure that you have it because um, when you use aftermarket pistons oftentimes they're um, they're a little bit shorter so they'll sit in the hole a lot farther than stock pistons and they do this because a lot of engines um, are rebuilt by a lot of warehouses and they'll automatically just deck the block down a certain distance so the pistons are usually um, a little bit shorter for that reason so when you're doing it in home you want to make sure you check this distance and you deck your block accordingly for your pistons so anyway that's kind of the idea behind it all pretty important so we'll get after setting it up here and we'll get it all checked out all right so here we are all set up to check our um, piston to deck clearance here and so we can determine how much we need to take off um, I want to make mention of a few things here you want to make sure that all the burrs around your cylinder wall are um, or your lip here you want to deburr this before you try and put your piston in because when they come from the machine shop they haven't done this process yet because they're still going to hone it and then they're going to deck it and then they'll do this um, the process where they get the finish on that lip so you want to be careful as you can really scrape up your piston so I went around here with um, just a little round tubular file a really fine grit file and took the burr off of that so I didn't damage my piston and um, also the used bearings that you use you want to make sure that they are the uh, proper size for your crank um, if you have obviously um, the wrong sized bearings it's going to distort your uh, um, piston to deck height so you want to use even though they are used they still need to be the proper size for your uh, crankshaft so what we have here is a dial indicator and um, or a lot of people call them test indicators and then we have a, a depth mic now what we're using this dial indicator here for is um, we want to determine where the um, highest dwell point of the piston is so as you can see um, the mic is zeroed out or excuse me the indicator is zeroed out there and then we're gonna bring the piston up by slowly rotating the crank and you can see there's a point there and we're gonna get to the highest point just before it tapers back down so there we go we're to the highest point right there 
there. So that's perfect. Now what we want to do is have a flat surface for our depth mic. So you want to find where zero is right before it starts to lift, lift the depth mic up off the block. So we found zero so we know that this is indeed a flat surface and so we can proceed to slide it over and doing this with one hand is kind of tricky. But I'm going to hold it down here and we're going to turn it until it starts to uh, push itself up and off the block. So once you feel resistance you're you're done there. So what I found is can't see it on camera, you can kind of see the 20 is um, <clears throat> my pistons are uh, 20 thousandths in the hole so we need to take at least 20 thousandths off the top of either deck and we're going to check this on again the four corners just to make sure and we'll take it down to the smallest amount but um, then from there you can use your proper um, head gasket thicknesses and felpro you know I use felpro gaskets and they have designated thicknesses when they're torqued down so um, then you can figure out your quench from there but anyway that's pretty much figuring out your quench um, and after you do that you can send your block back up to the machine shop and get your um, deck plane down and balance your rotating assembly and move right along but anyway there you have it